It's another edition of Waking Up with the Bull in the Morning, WBULL Radio on your FM dial. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening for my 26 people who have hit the bell. That's all I got to do is say, hey, I don't make this video for everybody. This video is for my 26 people that hit the bell. Ah, the shadow ban is real. Yeah, I put up a video 24 hours ago. It's got 26 views. And it had quite a bit of engagement. But every person that commented is people that hit the bell for the bull. Drinking some of this Tazo Passion organic hibiscus tea. Yo. Mm. Stuff is on point. I got a bunch of pods. Today we're just going to build build a sandwich. Two sandwiches. These are Irish breakfast. You know, Irish means it's got potatoes and corned beef on it. And with some eggs. And, you know, some, some nice stuff like that. Let me cut some pods open here. What do we got? All right, let's cut open this. Uh, let's do this. This is the best way to eat pods. I don't care what nobody says. I mean, yeah, if you want to review them straight, I ain't got no problem with that. But this isn't about reviewing pods. I've already reviewed all of these pods on this plate. This is about eating pods, how to eat pods. You know? How do you how do you eat them on an everyday basis? You know what I'm saying? All right, let's start off with this. Take your little top off your sandwich with the egg showing. Throw a little KSLS and some white scorpion. Some white knight. Make sure you get that placenta in there so you get a nice burn going. All right, let's try it out and see how we did. Monster Mash. This is the truth right here. Here we go. If you guys don't know who I'm imitating when I say here we go, I'm bunch of other stuff. It's Ordinary Sausage. Go check him out. I think he's got like a million subscribers now or something. I don't know. He has got a humongous channel. But Mr. Sausage makes sausage out of anything. Big Max. 7-Eleven food. <laughs> Did a Carolina Reaper one. Made one the other day with pierogies. <laughs> Just about anything. He puts up a video every day. Um, people love it. And that's the only show that our whole family can watch together. The baby likes it. My daughter Eliza likes it. My wife likes it. I like it. Unfortunately, they're only like five minute videos. So, but uh, yeah, it's called ordinary sausage. First time I seen it, man, I was rolling. Good morning, Mrs. Bullcow. Mrs. Bullcow has awakened. <sighs> what? What'd you just do? I just had the heat on. It just cut off its cycle. Mrs. Bullcow has a slight chill this morning. It's a little bit chilly out. I did turn the heat on, though. It just ran a full cycle. It's, it's nice in here now. You know how it is when you first get up there, you're cold no matter what. 
This sandwich is top notch. Hold on. I had to get a paper towel. Chili Head's got paper towels like crazy. I have napkins. I never use them. They're over there, but... Ooh. Nice little burn going. We'll build this other sandwich in a minute. How y'all doing out there today? Yeah, it sucks. About this shadow, Bam. Um... Well, like Mrs. Bokow works hard. She's got a lot of chili art and stuff. Some t-shirts we're going to be putting out. Teespring, we're having major issues with them. They keep raising their base cost up. And it's like, I don't want to raise my cost up. So profit margins decrease for me. My, my domain right now is stuck. I went to Auto Renew and I had an old credit card in there. Not old, but it was from like four or five months ago. My card got hacked, so I went on there and I purchased my same domain. Well, they think it's only twelve bucks to buy the domain, but it's forty-five to renew it. They think I tried to get over or something. I don't know, which I didn't. You know, I don't want my, my now my whole store is, nobody can find it, but uh, Teespring is, they're a ripoff. So, we're trying to get an Amazon merch. We'll probably be denied. Um, because my website's not up, but I mean, I explain to them in the application process that my website was down. So, um, the thing with Amazon Merch, the base cost is the same for merchandise, t-shirts and tote bags and all that stuff. But, there's free shipping for Prime members, which means that if I list a shirt for Twenty one ninety nine. They are going to. Um, they're going to send it out prime. It'll get it'll get to people faster prime than Teespring, I'd imagine. But that's what they're paying twenty nine twenty one ninety nine. With Teespring, pay twenty one ninety nine. Plus five dollars shipping. If you order another shirt, that's another five dollars. So, with the tax and all that, you know, you're looking at about fifty-five bucks, fifty-six bucks for two t-shirts shipped to you. Um, well, the Amazon would be like with tax forty-five, forty-six. For two shirts. So. That's the same. Uh, profit base cost for me. Well no. I mean it is but. On Teespring. I have my prices lower. Because. The shipping and everything. No, that's not our th our main thing. Off the t-shirts, I think I made two hundred dollars in the past year, and I just buy that much worth of shirts. Look at this. We're gonna build, build this sandwich out. I forgot to put peppers on it. I'm just ravenous. I got enough cut up here. Some KSLS on there. A couple slices of White Knight. The rest is White Scorpion. You know how we do. So I throw a little hell hammer upon it. Yeah, I'll throw a little bit. Do 
shave it like this, you won't get capsaicin on you. There you go. All right. So that's what's going on with the bull cow family. We're, uh, anyways, we're talking about the tea spring and all that stuff. You know, if we weren't shadow banned, we could probably get, there. we would have more um, opportunities for, you know, to sell products. And so that side of it sucks. Um, but we pretty much decided we'll keep the Teespring store up in case we somebody wants a shirt. <sighs> Whatever, it's there, you know. I have to pay forty five a year for the domain now, so if I sell a couple shirts, ten five ten shirts a year, that'll pay for that. You know. But the whole point is that because of the uh, because of the shadow bam, we're not gonna ever go anywhere with the YouTube channel. It's been a year now. We've studied the analytics. We know what's going on. <clears throat> and uh, it is what it is. I'll record videos of me eating some peppers or some sauce. I put them up here for you. You 20 people. <sighs> I like YouTube because... If I, you know, sometimes I'll review a pepper and somebody will search for that pepper. They want to see if it's any good, if they want to grow it. And, and six months later, they'll find the video. That's what's good about it. SEO, search engine optimization. Um, but I like Instagram more. Uh, thing is there, you just, you go live. But then, no one, your videos don't get any traction after that. So you might get 10, 15, 20 people watching while you're live. Then, uh, after that, you might only get one or two views. Someone that got the notification when they were at work and they went back and watched it or something like that. But, so yeah. Somebody should have just built another platform at some point that, had the functionality of all of the uh, these other platforms. But Breakfast with the Bulls video is getting long. I'm rambling, guys. Uncle Bokal loves you. Hope you're having a good day today. Peace.